let him talk. Let him finish. 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 Let him fin
I want to say, you know, we still have a group of people who are here from different colleges. If someone wants to share their thoughts about what's been going on in their campus or what they want to plan to do in the fall, um, again, you have uh, um, people's attention right now. So please share your thoughts if you'd like to. Can I ask please jump on in. Okay. Um, question and then now, uh, uh, if, the, the board, if, if the board votes for an increase, does that mean that it just goes through and like it's it's done already? Yes. Okay. So um, and we need to obviously we need to strategize about what we're going to do. You know, when the fall comes and people are hit with another increase. You know. And second of all. Um, uh, I, I would ask people just to keep the level of discourse high in the sense that we don't need to resort to insults up at the end and, and ad hominem attacks against the board trustees because they're people too. Unfortunately, they're making the wrong decision. And I think that it only helps us to be uh, uh, civil in our dialogue. That's all I have to say. So we've got a live question on the floor. What's an idea for when people can actually meet next? Taking this this uh, this circle seriously. Um, we've got uh, a sister here and then brother here. Please reach out to Blue. Another thing I want to say is we have to let the students know the power of voting. As well, you know, my, my administration is tenure. We're going to stress on registering all students to vote because if we change legislation through voting, it will trickle down to the Board of Trustees where these things won't be happening. If the students are not registering to vote, when we go up to Albany, you think they care if we say don't raise the tuition, they're going to say, how many people vote for us? We need to get our quarter of a million or four or half a million students registered and ready to vote and letting them know, oh, if you guys don't want to work with us, then we won't vote for you. We'll change the people that sit in these seats. So that's the most important thing, getting them registered to vote and, and informing them about this, this serious situation that we're in. What I want to say is that um, fighting tuition is what make, keeps CUNY alive, believe it or not. It's like, it looks like the opposite. But uh, if the student body is dead and just being processed through the institution into jobs, then everything's fine, except that it isn't working. You know what is working, right? On the other hand, if people are standing up and saying, no, this is wrong, and even if they do just a little bit, this is wrong, in a lot, in a lot of numbers, what they can do against it will get bigger over time. You've got to get on hand devices, and you got to figure out how to get nice people here tomorrow, right? That's the next meeting. You've got to figure out how, what's the next meeting after that.
Because when the students are alive, the institution has some life in it. The students are being processed, and uh, I'm going to need more trustees. It's also now going to our radio programs in your schools and telling them, let's have a discussion about this. That's also a great way to get it started, going to the radio stations, saying, are you aware that there's a tuition increase? Somebody's got to have a kid in CUNY in the radio show. I know, great. It's important and it needs to get out there. I'm also a student with a disability. There's also a lot of other costs that students with disabilities get. It's ridiculous. It inhibits people from going to college and getting an education. Isn't that what the educational system is about? This is what it was once. It was free. Free. This cannot be for you. about this and isn't just going to be here for a day or whatever. Um, there's a group that me and a couple, a lot of pissed off CUNY and SUNY students decided to make, which is New York Students Rising. If you're really into this and you really want to make a change because now is the time, um, we're going to have a, a retreat the first weekend of August. And if you're interested, I don't know if I can get my hands on that contact list, so just come ask me for mine and you can email me or call me. But. Um, yeah, it's basically strategizing on what we can do because walkouts and sit-ins, they haven't been working. Security already has a plan B for that shit. Although it worked in previous years with CUNY, we need to come up with new tactics and what we're going to do. And I think using that networking of SUNY helps a lot. So the more representation we have from different campuses, we have one person from BMCC, but so it wouldn't matter if we had more. We want more. Um, so yeah, just come see me. <laughs> Say, um, uh, from BMCC there's still a live question um, about when we can have a gathering next to people um, for anyone who's here who's a part of a club if you have a regular meeting time or even meeting space um, that you'd be willing to volunteer as folks are sharing kind of their last thoughts if anyone wants to consider that um, and um, one uh, thing that I want to recommend for people to uh, to come together in the fall um, October 7th at the Graduate Center in CUNY um, the uh, Professional Staff Congress, which is the Teachers Union of CUNY that I'm a part of, um, as well as people who are from around CUNY are organizing a conference called uh, Defending Public Higher Education. Um, this is October 7th. Um, for any of you who want to write down on your calendars, um, just Google it. Um, the, it's kind of slowly getting started, but this is something that CUNY students and teachers and staff members can take basically, um, you know, adopt as something that's ours. We're wanting to defend public higher education. There's a conference that's happening. I urge you to contact, email the conference organizers, say, hey, we're from BMCC, or hey, we're from Hostos, or hey, we're from uh, uh, Bronx Community College, or City College, or elsewhere. We want to host a workshop, or we want to give a talk about the history, you know, radical history of our school, or something like that. Um, so please remember that October 7th. Um, one other quick thing I want to say is, um, a lot of you may not know this, but the people, the majority of people who are teaching your classes, who are called adjuncts, um, are paid ridiculously low wages. 18,000 with no benefits. 18,000 with no benefits. Uh, we're, 12,000 of them. Yeah, we're, we're uh, you know, we teach the majority of CUNY uh, classes, and so when we're talking about who CUNY, the Board of Trustees and CUNY management is trying to squeeze, it's not just students, it's our teachers as well, most likely. Um, so what I want to do is, as a CUNY teacher, as well as a CUNY student, um, I want to see if people in your own work on your campuses can try and bridge those connections um, and say, hey, are you an adjunct? First day of class, ask your teacher, are you an adjunct? What's going on with your union contract? We're in the middle of a contract negotiation. It's not looking good. The same way that they're trying to squeeze teach, uh, students with these uh, uh, tuition increases, they're trying to tell teachers, listen, you'll have little to nothing to work with. Um, so please reach out to your teachers, um, who are also, a lot of them are also students in the CUNY system. I'm a teacher and a student in the CUNY system. And please reach out to them saying, hey, we're having a rally against tuition hikes. Well, can I make an announcement? Hey, can you help you know, announce this at all the classes that you teach? Those kinds of connections we need to be making. Um, they do these things in which they try and divide students from teachers, or they try and divide um, students at four-year schools from students at two-year schools and say, oh, your, your interests are not the same. But what we need to be doing is actually using these times when everyone is being squeezed to try and make these connections happen. Um, so I just wanted to say that as a CUNY teacher and student to fellow CUNY teachers and students. Um, uh, uh, <laughs>
but yeah, just to say that, I mean, uh, I'm not sure if there's you know any group that's here that would be willing to uh, host a meeting, um, but. Uh, the student government, we hold meetings on Wednesdays at, I know it's at 6 p.m. Okay. And we have a big space if you guys want to reserve one week. We can actually do it. Students rising, 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 if you want to be on the email list. Discuss it from there. Right on. So, and this is at uh, BMCC? LaGuardia. Oh, uh, LaGuardia, I'm sorry. I thought you said BMCC. Okay, right on. Um, so, I'm, Martin, uh, I'm actually from Council Member Rodriguez Office, and uh, I was sent by the directors. Uh, they are looking for to get together with the students, uh, La Guardia, EMCC, the city governments, and USS. We're actually right now working on a campaign uh, to fight the tuition increase and budget cuts. And the council members really interested in uh, getting on board with you guys. So what I will suggest is like, let's plan and have a day we can all meet and also see if the council members are able to discuss. But he's definitely on board with this. Thank you. I mean, case for us, realize this is just the foundation of privatizing public education, higher public education. What's going on in K through 12 is similar, where that's what they're trying to privatize. So I think it's it's now more than ever pivotal that we start standing up and speaking out. K through 12. Uh, K through 12 with all Kindergarten the charter schools, whatever. Grade. And that's really? another thing that New York Students Rising defends. It's just defending public education from K through 12 all the way to higher ed. But our main focus is CUNY and SUNY right now. Okay, the charterization of CUNY and SUNY. Yeah. Okay. Finn. <laughs> I passed around the list if you're interested. I want to invite um, anyone else to speak who wants to share any words. Um, this won't be your last opportunity, don't worry. Uh, we'll have future gatherings, future circles like this. Um, Anytime that you see a meeting like this where you're like, uh, wait a minute, that was totally ridiculous and undemocratic. I mean, this wasn't anything that I had concocted beforehand. I was like, hey, why don't we have a meeting right outside where people can get together and actually have a real conversation. Please, take that tactic and use it as your own. We need to be having more conversations well. Do it like on this. your electronics. Do it with your friends. Get, them, get, a, get the conversation going when they say, when should we get together? Figure out what's right and just make the call. Thank you. That's folks coming through. So once again, uh, people who uh, want to get on their different social network uh, uh, devices, as this gentleman had said, Mike, um, yeah. Mike yeah. Um, please invite people to come out tomorrow. Um, uh, their actual vote, uh, just to remind you all, is happening tomorrow at five. Um, and so, you know, the more people that we can pack uh, the room with and show that this is a, a sham vote that they already already voted anyway, um, what we want to do is to basically show them that the heat is being turned up and that we are paying attention to them, and that we're frankly wanting to put a little fear in their cereal bowl in the morning. Um, because CUNY, uh, I, I really appreciate the comment that you said, that the way that CUNY actually works, the way that it is so alive, is by this very activity. You are CUNY! Uh -huh. It's not them, it's you! Exactly. Um, so thank you all so much for just taking a little bit of time out at the end of that ridiculous meeting so we can have a, a real discussion. Thank you. Yeah. Anyone else want to sign it?